Today, I am showing you how to get Libre 2 and 3 readings on your Apple Watch. There is no official Freestyle Libre 2 or 3 Apple Watch app. You do get push notifications sent to the Apple Watch, which is fantastic, similar to the Dexcom CGM, but Dexcom has an Apple Watch app. But guess what? I have a Libre 3 app on here as well, not an official one, uh, through a back door, and I'm gonna kind of lay out all the steps on how to do that. The steps that I show you today also work for devices like back there. I've got a tidbit down there, which actually has my Libre 3 numbers right now. And then there's Sugar Pixel on top. That's using my Dexcom readings, but using those same steps, you can get your Libre sensor data on that as well. There's also the ability to put a widget on the home screen, which I'll explain how to do that as well. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and click that bell if you wanna see more videos like this and give it a like if you enjoy it. And always remember, I am not a doctor. None of this is medical advice. Always consult with your physician before making any changes. Also, all the devices I show you today are secondary devices. You should not rely on these for your alerts. Always use the branded device that you're using and their app. And for those devices back there, the Tidbit and the Sugar Pixel, I have links to those in the description and it helps support this channel when you use those links. Let's get into this. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is a Libre sensor, whether it's the three or the two. You're going to create an account, have that app on your phone, and then you can move from there. Obviously, you're gonna need that. Next, what you're gonna do is go on to the Libre 3 app, and you're gonna go down to Connected Apps. This is where you'll find the Link Up app, and that's where you can share your readings to other people. That's gonna come in key. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna to go to manage, and then as you can see, I'm already there, but you would add a connection and then you'd add a name as well as an email. That is going to send an email to the person you're sharing. In this case, it's probably you. So you're gonna receive that email, it looks like this, and then you just have to sign up using that app. So I have the app, it's the Libre Link Up app, I'm gonna open that up. I already have the data because I set this up, but you'll create a username and password for the LinkUp app on that account. And then you're going to use that email that was sent to you to sync that data to your account. You can follow up to 20 users on this app. So if you have a bunch of people that have type one and you wanna keep up with them, you can do so. But in this case, we're just gonna use one person's data to connect it to the Apple Watch and other devices. Now that you have Libre Link Up, you're going to need to download the Gluru app. That is a cute little kangaroo and download that app and then you'll be able to do the next step. So we're gonna open up Gluru. We're gonna create an account. Once that is done, you will be able to grab a very important link. So let me show you where that is. Once you're all installed, you're gonna click on this little green tab and then you're gonna go to devices and then next up CGM. So here on the Gluru app, Gluru does a ton of things, but I'm just focusing on this right now. I'm going to have the creator of Gluru on my podcast soon if you wanna learn more. The app is cool because it allows you to talk to your support team or your parents and kind of they can check in. It's like almost like um, text messages, but through this app that are all related to diabetes and it gives the parents updates as well. It's pretty cool, you'll learn more. Anyway, on this tab, you have options to connect different CGMs. In this case, we're going to be connecting the Freestyle Libre versus LinkUp. When you tap on that, it's going to ask you for the username and password for the LinkUp app. You will plug that in and then it will say connected. Now that you're connected, you can go over to the tab called data. There is the important link that we need. It is the Night Scout URL. What Night Scout is, is basically a conduit between data and the ability to send it to different websites and devices, in this case, devices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that little copy button, the green copy button on the right, tap that, it is copied to your clipboard. Next up, we need to download one more app, I promise, and that is the Night Guard app. So that app looks like that little owl in the center, the Night Guard app. Pause the video while you download that. Once that's downloaded, open it up. As you can see, I already have my data up. Let's see if it's accurate. Yep, 163. That is all Libre data. Now, of course, your data is not loaded up yet, right? We're gonna have to do that now. So you're gonna go down to the tab and click More, and you're gonna go to Preferences. At the top, that is where you put that Night Scout URL. So you'll paste it there, and then, your Libre numbers are going to come into this app, and that's where you'll have them on your watch. 
here's what the watch looks like. As you can see, I already have a bunch of widgets out, and the one in the bottom left is that night guard widget. It's already gonna be on your watch. So let's pretend it wasn't there though. So you'll hold down on the screen, you'll click edit, and then you'll probably have to swipe over and then you'll have control of these widgets. So next, let's just do the center one. Let's pretend that other one doesn't exist. And I'm gonna go to night guard right here. And there are actually a couple options. I like the BG values as a gauge, but you can also do the BG, BG values as text. Let's just do the text one. That way you can see the difference. And there you go. You can see how long it's been since it got a reading. Two minutes. The Libre 3 does update every one minute, but this could be lagging a bit. It's letting you know that. Then you've got the number 137. 137, that's right back there. And then it says I went down 26 points, which um, that's a lot. And I'll have to keep an eye on that. So it's great to have that there, first of all. Once you tap on that widget, you have this data on your watch and you can use the little dial to go all the way back. See that? And then you can also go to the next tab. Sometimes I have to use this, it's a refresh and that lets you refresh the data. I will say sometimes there's a bit of lag, maybe just by like five minutes, but still you're getting some pretty important information right to your watch. And there is no official Libre 3 Apple Watch app. So there's also other stuff to do on here. I have not really played around with it, I'll be completely honest, but uh, if you wanna check it out, there's a lot more to do. Now, aside from that, there's also the ability to put a widget on the home screen. So let me show you what that looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down on the home screen and then I'm gonna click customize. Then I'm gonna to go to the lock screen and this is where you can put widgets. So at the bottom, you can see I already have the widget. It's the 163, let me just delete that and I'll show you. You can go down in this list and go to night guard and then I'm gonna add, look, it shows you there's some different ones. You can put that, that BG value as text or BG values as gauge. I like the gauge and then there you go. I have it on my home screen and then all I need to do is click done, it's there, and then I can open up the app just by tapping that. So that is how you do the widget on the home screen. For devices like the Tidbit and the Sugar Pixel, it's pretty similar. Those devices allow you to put that Night Scout link into the settings and then have that information upload to the device. If you wanna learn more about Sugar Pixel and Tidbit, I did two episodes for my podcast. They're pretty short. Uh, kind of going over how they work. And again, the links to them, if you wanna check them out, are in the description and it helps support the channel when you use those links. If you wanna learn more about Libre 3, I have a video comparing the Libre 3 to Dexcom G7 on YouTube. And I'm coming out with a Libre 3 review. And I interviewed Abbott all about the Libre 2 and 3 coming to AID systems. And I also asked them a bunch of things about the Libre app and what it could look like in the future. That's gonna be on my podcast in the coming weeks. I think in two two or three weeks, so stay tuned for that. You could do that by subscribing to this channel and click that bell for alerts if you wanna get alerted as soon as my videos come out. Also, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps other people find my videos. Until next week, I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.